Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, back with more Gran Turismo 7 content, and this time we're going to be comparing different brake disc types in the tuning shop. So before we get started, I just want to thank everyone who's supported the channel so far. You guys are awesome. It's grown way faster than I expected. But if you're new to the channel and you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you find this video helpful, make sure to share it through the community so everyone can learn a bit more about the game. But with that being said, let's get started. So, why am I doing this comparison in the first place? Well, it stands to reason that your carbon brakes are going to be your best in terms of performance because they're in the extreme category and they're most expensive. You can see they're on this F40, they're over double the price of either racing brake kit. The slotted disc and the drilled disc are the same price. But you can see is these are 21,000 credits and these are only 8,000. So if you build a lot of cars over the course of the game, that's quite a bit of extra money you're spending just to get carbon brakes. So we want to investigate, are these actually worth it? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a comparison in a corner and see how much faster a corner is with carbon brakes, if at all. And then we'll do a straight line braking test to a stop and compare the braking distances. So here is our first test. We're coming across the line. We have our racing drilled rotors equipped. We had a pretty good run out of the last corners. We had 153 across the line, breaking just past the 150 meter board. We got a pretty good break apply into turn one. Double apex did a tiny bit, and then came out with a pretty good exit. Now that we've set a baseline lap with the drilled racing rotors, we're going to switch over to the carbon rotors and see if there's a difference. Now you might be wondering too, do the slotted discs make a difference? As far as the time trial, no they do not. They are exactly the same as the racing drilled discs. But these two designs have two different purposes. At least in real life, slotted discs are designed to remove small bits of debris from the pads so you can make full contact with the disc. Because if you're not making full contact, you're losing a bit of braking surface area and that means you have less friction and friction is what makes your brakes work. So slotted discs are better for long term racing, which I haven't done much of in this game and compared. So. That is yet to be determined, but as far as a time trial, these two are exactly the same. But I wanted to compare drilled and carbon in particular because the carbon are also drilled, so it's a real A-B comparison between materials. So we're going to switch over to the carbon brakes, and then see how these compare in turn one. So we're coming across the line, got a slightly worse exit out of the hairpin, a bit down on speed, but we hit the brakes at the exact same time, get the exact same braking distance, double apex the corner the same, and get through it pretty much at the exact same speed. So to my surprise, the carbon and racing drilled discs are basically the same, as far as cornering is concerned. And now you might be thinking, well, there's a lot more to cornering than just braking. Just because the ghosts line up doesn't mean the brakes are the same. And to that, I say that's totally fair. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a straight line braking test. We're going to run up to the start finish line out of the hairpin. And then we're going to hit the brakes at 100% with ABS default. And no downshifting, no steering, only brake input. And we're going to compare the stopping distances between the two brake discs. So here we are coming down the front straight. We're going to hit just about 141 miles an hour out of this kink. And then we should hit 152, 153 across the line. And then we slam on the brakes. And this is with the racing drilled rotors. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do a little burnout to designate this as our baseline test. Make sure that's actually what we're racing against. Then we'll go into walk mode. And just ensure that we indeed have the racing drilled rotors on. Just fully expose these, and those are indeed the racing drilled rotors. So now, let's compare these to the carbon rotors. 
Now we're going to repeat this test on the front straight. This time with the carbon discs equipped. We're hitting about 141 out of the kink, which is the same as last time. Should hit 152, almost 153 across the line. As we slam on the brakes, you can see there's almost no difference between the carbon discs and the racing drilled ones. So now the ghost will pull away and start doing a donut to identify itself as the racing drilled test. And we'll do some wiggles and play with the blinkers to identify this as the carbon test. Just in case some people think I didn't use carbon for this test. And just to double check that, we'll just look at the replay and make sure everything checks out. So we're going to turn on all of the display race info. And then we'll skip ahead to the brake test. Everything checks out here so far. And then here are the wiggles. And there's the blinkers. And then we'll go into photo mode to check the rotors. And those are, in fact, the carbon rotors. We'll just expose this in photo mode to make extra sure. And yep, those are, those are definitely carbon. So what are our main takeaways from this? One, in short races and time trials, carbon brakes make absolutely no difference in performance, but if you like the appearance, that's totally fair. You can still go with carbon. Two, carbon brakes do not affect weight, even though they probably should. When you go to the upgrade shop and equip them, they do not change your weight at all. And that's one of the main advantages in real life of carbon ceramic brakes is that they reduce your unsprung weight. So that advantage is just gone in the game. And then three, Carbon brakes resist brake fade better in real life than steel rotors do, but this needs to be tested in an endurance race in the game to actually see if that's true. But considering that the only endurance races you'll find are in race cars, and those come with non-swappable slotted rotors, I'm going to assume that they make no difference there either. With that being said, if you need to save credits, skipping out on carbon brakes is definitely on the table. But that's all I've got for this one, guys. I hope this saved you some credits if you decide to make this decision, especially after the update that made grinding credits a lot more tedious. And as always, if you found this video informative, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.